One. Well, here we are, out on a little conga mission with my best mate, Matthew. Say hello. Hello. Hello there. And the boy, Huey. Hello there. So I promised him a trip on Mountbatten Pier, but I was actually lying because I've got a bit of a surprise. There's a boat coming to pick us up in a minute. And we're going to either head up the Tamar or into the Plymouth Sand here. Noisy dogs. And we're going to catch some conga. It's not a surprise now because we know. <laughs> what do you think of that? Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, mate. I can't see a boat though. No, don't worry, you'll be here, man. <laughs> it's going to be dark soon. <laughs> he won't let us down, I promise. Are you excited? Yeah. He's come down all the way from London. So we haven't been out, how long have we been? With my mum. When was the mom. last time we were out, Huey? Years ago? Yeah, definitely a few years ago. Yeah. I think when we were like, carp fishing at like, Bait Lakes or something. Yeah, yeah. Might have been that. But he's all grown up now, so time for some real fishing, some conga fishing. Got all the gadgets here today, look, Matt's got yeah. his posh GoPro. Yes. I've just got my phone. He's got a phone, I've got a <laughs> GoPro. Yeah, I can, I can make a video in half an hour, but Matt, it's going to take you three days to edit that. Well, Look, he's looking at you, kid. I don't have to edit it anymore. I've got someone that does that. Oh, very good, very good. I've moved on. <laughs> Ready, Huey? Yeah. Ready, son? Yeah, that's a, that's a proper boat. Oh, yeah, mate. I was expecting something... <laughs> Blow up. Like a rowboat <laughs> with an outboard on it. Yeah, mate. Here we go. <laughs> Come in. Come on, mate. Here we are, Crusader Charters. Kevin's come to pick us up. We're off to catch a conga. Hi, right, buddy, you okay? Yeah? Yep, all good. Cool, cool. Right, let's do it. What a beauty. Alright, come on in. Yeah, thanks very much. Top of the cabin, yep. two life rafts on hydrostat releases. Yep. Basically means if the boat was to go down and I can't manually launch them, they will launch themselves. Below decks, fully automated fire safety system, but if needed, manual fire extinguishers are just in front of that grey door there. All your personal safety equipment, so flare packs, thermal protective aids, first aid kits, life jackets, all just behind the grey seats there. The back is pulled forward, all your personal safety stuff's in there. Kettle's in behind that one, microwave yep. underneath, um, help yourself to tea, coffee, soup, hot chocolate, whatever you want all night. Brilliant. Cool. Other than that, it's let's a, go fishing. A lovely boat, mate. Thank you. Really nice. Um, yeah, nice I was, I had my fingers crossed it would have a roof. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, here we are, Crusader Charters out with Kev. We just had the safety talk, which was quite in depth and really good. It's a fantastic boat. Don't matter if it rains, we're on it, son. If you want to hire the boat, how much is it? 20, 20 quid each? Yeah, for a trip like this tonight. Five, six hours fishing, 200 pounds for the boat. 200 quid for the boat, five or six hours fishing. You've got a really knowledgeable bloke here. The boat's absolutely stunning. I've never, I've not been on it before. Um, you know, I promised Matt, Matt's come down from London with his boy, Huey. Huey's filming me now, right Huey? Yeah, yeah. Cool. We haven't been out for years, so this is this is brilliant, like, you know? So I've, hopefully now we can, I've bought enough bait to, <laughs> I've got enough bait for 10 people, let alone one. I've got line caught mackerel, Nice cuttlefish. Uh, I've got the shore rod, so it's a bit, it's not orthodox, so I'm using the big rods on the boat, but hey, there's only three of us, so there's plenty of room, no worries. So yeah, nice one. Let's get into it. We're, we're rolling. We're rolling, yeah, we certainly are rolling. Well, here we are, we're just settling in really. Got wind against tide, blah, blah, blah. I won't bore you with that. So these are the weights we're going. My best mate, wingman. The best mate wingman makes these up for us for when we're congering. Just bits of metal tube filled with concrete. You know, we just, there's no point spending hundreds of pounds on weights. So yeah, that's a little, nice little thing there, wingman. Shame you can't be here, mate. But here we are, we're just about to start, just tackling up. I've got my trusty saltist. Wouldn't go anywhere without that healing. So yeah, I'm using the Zenon Power tonight. Nice Tronics rod, very strong, heavy ground rod. So Matt's going to use that. I'm on the Naga, the red rod. My little beast. And uh, we'll get Huey on a nice lighter rod with a fixed ball because he's not used to the multiplier. So yeah, let's do it. So 
of what line you got on there. Remember Jaws? Oh, gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> 40 pound main line. I'm not messing about, mate. 40 pound has got to be. 250 pound trace. Big hooks. Yeah, so a bit unconventional today. I'm using the long rods. So I've got Zenon Power, all the Tronics gear. Yes, I am sponsored by Tronics. Um, my, my, my goal this year is to get some filming of me. People are saying, Bassman, come on, where's the footage with the Naga bent in? And every time me and Wingman have gone to try and make a video, it doesn't happen. And that's fishing for you. So I really hope I can get a bit of action with, this, with these rods actually bent in so you can see how good they are. And uh, yeah, let's get into it, man. We are a line caught mackerel. Nice little joeys, perfect for conga. Right, well, there we are, look. That's my basic rig. Running ledger, yeah? Yeah. Right, check this out. It's a bit like knitting. Knit one, pearl one. Through its back. And then, most people, they'll go out this way, so the hook's sticking out like that. But I prefer to stick it up and out through the head because I fish in a lot of snaggy marks. And if you think right, let's just pull that tight in it. When that sits on the bottom, it's either gonna land like that or like that, yeah? Each way, the, the hook's not gonna be snagged, yeah? So if it, was, if it was coming out the side of the fish, you've got a 50-50 chance of that getting snagged straight away. There's absolutely no finesse in conga fishing. It's just big gear, big baits, big weights, and a lot of screaming. Wrapping that up so that hooks nice and just sits there nicely. Say hello, Mr. Mackerel. Hello. And then I'll just go a couple of times around through the loop. More basic stuff. And then I'll just give this mackerel a little bit of stab on the guts. And nice in the head, gets the blood coming out. And that's it, ready to go. Now we wait. Here we are, Huey's on. Get on, sir. What's it like? Nice? Heavy? Is it, is it a weed fish or a rock fish or a conga? What have you got? How big? That, Matt. No. Here we go, look! Oh my god! Look at Huey! <laughs> go on, son! Here we are on the fish. Look at the size of it, man! That's a good. <laughs> Matt, where are you, man? I've got this here, look! Yeah, but get your, get your camera out. Oh, what a fish, Huey! Yes! Yeah, Jesus not a bad Christ. start for you. <laughs> right, Huey, <laughs> put the rod down and go and get that get hold of that fish, mate. Uh, What's here? Good right. good 30 on in it? Uh, I'd say mid-20s. Mid-20, 30. Matt! Right. Matt's in his roll up with a little baby. Put some line off the reel <laughs> comparison. for me. Look at the size of it. So I'll Huey. take the rod, you come take the fish, you've got gloves on. Alright. All right, oh my god, Trace. Huey. Yeah, stand over there and look because you've got the light down in you. the corner. We'll get a nice shot then. I'll get all this rubbish out of the way. Oh, that's. <laughs> Here we go, father and son. Yeah, father and son. Yeah, it's on this side of it, mate. Okay, if you just if you lift it up with the actual trace line with that heavy line, it'll be easy on your hand. Uh, what do you mean, like, like but further down? Yes. Yeah, just uh, oh, not not at the gunnel. No, 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 Paul, Huey. Ah. Oh no! Well, that one's gone. That's all right. 
That's all right. You still got mine now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a fish. Oh, did you? Yeah, I saw it saw going. It oh well. That's one each. That is. That's one each, yeah. Oh, oh mate. Well here we are. Matt's into something really special here. Yeah? Get it between your legs, boy. Let's see what you're made of, son. Go on. Proper bent in. How's it going there, son? Right, try and keep the line on, all right? On the other side. I think there's something on it. Yeah, it's going. Hey, you are, look. Get on, mate. Get out the way. Matt, I think you were in the bottom as well, weren't you? Yeah, he, was, he must have wedged himself in, mustn't he? Yeah. Your hand around the trace. Oh, look at that hook. That nice chin. eagle claw hook, look. He's getting, yeah, he's yeah, getting yeah. cosy. Nice one, I'll just stop it and take a picture, yeah? Snake charmer in action. Yeah. Alright, I'm the last one to hook up, but. <laughs> Better late than never, Better bad. late than never. Check yeah. out the rod, man. In the bottom here or what? No. Oh no! <laughs> if Arthur's hooked, he's shook off. Oh mate! <laughs> oh, never mind. Is this film going to be called Bassman Blanks? Yeah. No. <laughs> Unlucky boys. Not a chance, we've only just started. All the slime on the braid, that's what it was, look. Yeah. T barred it off on another line. Yeah. Just unlucky, mate. Is. Drat! Drat! And double drat! Right, quick cuttle bait demo. I've basically come up through the underside with a hook and then pulled it up through. You're trying to come out that little pipe, but I've just missed it, right? Nice and straightforward. Bait elastic. There's the Tronics Baytex. This is the heavy stuff, which is really good. So I've just got that down this week actually because I'd run out but this stuff's got like 300 meters on it it's latex and the good thing about this stuff is it comes off really easy when you want to rebate you're not like picking it off for hours so yeah just round and round and round she goes and we're using these TK15s the wide loads um, the Eagle Claw surgically sharpened mentally sharpened hooks they're the Pro V Trocar so you ain't gonna get any better than that and around she goes. And what I try and do is whip the head up a little bit towards the hook. But this is a, actually a very small bait for me. Just try and disguise the hook a bit, but it's not it's not really a big cut, so I can't really do that. So there we go. And just make sure that's like really tight, so that really can't move. So when the conga grabs it, it's gonna actually get the hook and penetrate. But yeah, you can see this stuff is black as hell. It's my favourite bait of all. Uh, just don't go anywhere without it healing. So yeah, we're going to get this down now. Catch a beast. At last, we've got a decent bend in the naga. Get the rod in, mate. 
That is proper uh, bang here, we're winning anything at the moment. Right, if you can walk backwards for me, Paul. Yeah. Try and get his tail up in the side and into the net. What a fish. Can't get his tail up. Right. Really don't want to put a gap in this fish. No, 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 no. That's all right, mate. I'll leave it to you. Come on, get your tail up. This is no tide to make it. Cool. And that hook's really not in either. Isn't it? Right. Oh my God. Need him to present his tail for me. Can you um, try walking backwards for me? Yeah. And see if we can get a different angle on him so he's not straight up and down. That's it. Swing the rod this way. That's the ticket. Good man, well done. You in? We're there. Woohoo! Oh my god, look at the size of it. Well, that's a proper one. He's got, he's got to be over 30, hasn't he? He's got to be up that way. <laughs> right, stick him in free spool. Right. We'll sort the rod, you can grab this. Yeah, and he's not going out the gunnel either. <laughs> right, okay. Right, he's all yours, my friend. Right, we're still rolling Good here. Good luck, Huey. Numbers at the top of the screen, yeah? We rolling? Yep. Awesome, look at that. This is what I came for. Crusader Charters, 20 quid a night, 10 of you. Plymouth Conga Club will be on this, man. We'll get some lads out on this boat, get this book, boat booked up. Oh my God, what a scrap. Just like you said with those uh, triple point hooks, look, right in the cheek. That's the trocar hook there, man, and that, I mean that. It, where is it coming out the side here? It ain't coming out, is it? Cracker. So yeah, I was a little bit nervous there on the top reach. She didn't put her tail up, but oh, what a fish. Well, here we are. I'm absolutely made up. Stonking eel. What a beauty. On the naga. What can I say? I, can't, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm shaking. That's brilliant. Hell of a good fight. I'll be coming out on this boat again, chaps. Like... Get on it, man. Friday night, river cruises. Beauty, look at that. She's a lovely eel, round a 30 mark. What a fish. Thanks very much, Kev. No worries, mate. It's what Crusader Charters are all about, mate. Make yeah. your dream. Man. Right, here we are, look. Kev's just going to T-bar this one off. She's absolutely fine. She's got a nice cheek piercing now. All right, what we do with the T-bar is put the bend of the hook onto the bar itself, invert it. Yeah. Give it a little twist. There she goes. And off she goes. Oh, what a fish. Thanks, mate. No worries, good man. Yeah, give us a hug now. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, yes. Kate Chalmers done it from Boat and Shore now. Yes, at last. <laughs> good right, man. let's go home. <laughs> nice one, Huey. Come on, baby. Ooh. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Look at that. Here we bend. go. This is more like it. Right, we got a good eel on here, Kev. Are nice we rolling? Let's see, we're rolling. <laughs> Right. right. I'm going to come around and I'm going to see a bass man's eye view of this. Yeah. At this stage of the fight, oh, I'm just that. literally holding on here. Yeah, it's a nice eel, this one. That's a lovely shape to that rod, my friend. Yeah. I absolutely love these rods. Come on, mate. She's off, she's swimming away, look. We're off across the surface, eh? Yeah. Come on, let's keep her going. Yep, there she is. There's the fish. Let's get her close Nice look. eel. Nice one. Sweating a bit now. Yeah. Huey! Huey! Are we still rolling? Yep. Good lad. 
Right, same thing as before. Yeah. You can walk up that side of the boat for me if yeah. you can. Hang on. I've got to get this over your edge first. Okay. Over you go. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Put a head on this thing. Oh, I've got my light on. Some head on it. Yeah. Right. If you can walk straight up that side of the boat for me. What? Right up the side. Yep. And Huey, if you right, can come Huey, out the way a minute. The camera. That's it. I need to get him tail first. Right. What do you want me to do, Kev? Just keep going backwards if you can. Right. Hang on. How's that? That's good. Now bring him into the boat for me. She's rolling, all right. Go on, son. Is he in? Yes, yes. Oh, wow, that's a proper one. Oh, you beauty, Kev. Nice that's one, the man. way it's done, Mr. Conger Man. Hey. <laughs> yeah, baby. Well, there you go. It's a good scrap. <sighs> Nicely tamed on that red rod, though. Yes, mate. And finally got the footage. Look at the size of it. Right. So just uh, get this nagger down a minute. Corner. Let's take the trace out of the water. Yeah, you're going to cut that, Kev. Right, trace is on yours. I've got it. I ain't letting you go, darling. What a fish. Look at the size of this one. What do you reckon on this one, man? Oh, it's going to be in the early 30s, isn't it's it? It's got to be in it. 35, maybe. Look at the head on it, man. It's quite girthy. It. Oh, look how far she's taken that bait back. Yep. What a fish. Right, if we swap places now, yeah. Huey, if you've got the front. Get off, Huey. Down the back. Good lad. What's that going on? No, you ain't going out there, pal. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. Right, I'll right. right, first thing I'm going to do is get that box. Lock off that. No escape for you, my baby. Right, still got your light on, though, mate. Okay, sorry. Woo, a bit shaky. That's the second beauty, what, in half an hour? If that. That's job done, mate. Thanks very much. No I'm absolutely buzzing, man. So we've seen both naggers now, bent into yeah. decent eels. On both rods. Look, let's just hold her up for the camera. Look at that, man. Yes! I can't even lift it. <laughs> what a beast. Oh, I'm absolutely buzzing, man. Couldn't have made any better. That troll car hook is right down. Unfortunately, it's a bit deep, this one, but we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out. We'll cut that one away rather than damage the fish. We'll get a weight of her in a minute off camera. She's got to be, she's got to be 35. She's really fat, very girthy. Yeah, she's thick all the way down to the vent. Oh she? yeah, look at it, man. Hand. That's what it's all about, Crusader Charters. Get on the Friday night, guys. Brilliant. <laughs> Right, nice one Huey, let's get some pictures, yeah? Yep. Come on, right. let me pick it up twice. Once we've got over the conga wrestling, our snake charmer himself, Mr. Paul Bassman Gordon. Here we are folks, right. Here she is, mid-30s. Definitely a PB for me. It's a tame eel. I don't care if it's on a boat. It's good enough for me, man. Thanks very much, Kev. You've been amazing. Nice one, Huey, for doing the filming. Welcome. Let's get this one back. Right, just to show in the background, above the net there, that's a nagger bouncing away in another <laughs> conga bite. While I've got to do it again. Oh, I'm shaking so much here. Right, over she goes, yeah? Yeah, let's get her back. There she goes. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a fish. 